this is such a bigger uh, career stack than I was thinking when you talked about people who are actually taking the fight and working with the FBI and, and, and rounding, you know, so I know that there's, there's a bunch of different types of job roles around business email compromise, whether it's security awareness training, like you said, or, um, you know, whether it's implementing policy in your office, but like, what are some of the, um, what are some things that people who are listening to this now, could do right after they turn the video off to get them a little closer to having the qualifications to sort of work in this area, especially the higher tech areas like threat researcher like yourself, mm -hmm. uh, or even, you know, working with the sort of secret service and so forth. Yeah, so it really starts out with an understanding of how the internet works. You mm -hmm. need to understand the protocols, you need to understand what different types of infrastructure are, are out there. You've got, mm -hmm. you know, companies that play different roles, companies that are providing broadband access, companies that are providing hosting services, companies that are providing uh, co-location or cloud-based computing services. Um, you need to understand how to, you know, if you've got an IP address, how can you use open source Intel or what we call OSINT, how can you use that to go figure out, well, who controls that IP address? If if there's a problem, if there's stuff coming out of that IP address that's bad, how do I know who to contact to get that taken care of? And so you have to have the, the basics of how the internet works. Now, do you have to be an absolute expert in like every type of like BGP routing or something like that? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. But you got to have the basics if you're going to mm -hmm. jump into this because um, you know, you're going to be pivoting across different things and you have to know the connections between those things. Yes. Now, specifically to be a threat researcher, you have to have kind of a creative and analytical mind. You're never going to have the whole picture put in front of you. Now, I'll give you an example. Uh, we had a guy on my team a few years back. He was actually the guy who found, figured out who the guys were that had stolen uh, from this woman in the romance scam that resulted in that arrest. Mm -hmm. He read through, so we had managed to get our hands on the mailboxes uh, that some of these guys were using to do their scams. We had uh, we had worked with the victim and got some bank account information, um, and we were able to call up some friends. In this case, uh, I, I called somebody over at the Secret Service who has access to the um, to the to the uh, FinCEN database, which is uh, every time there's a a large transaction moving money, I think the limit is $10,000, it gets filed. And specifically, if there's anything that looks suspicious, banks are supposed to uh, file what's called a SAR, a Suspicious Activity Report. Hmm. And I don't have access to that database, but the Secret Service guy did, and he was able to go spider all that out. Mm -hmm. But then we were able to tie some social media accounts. And a lot of this came down to my analyst who just has this like, you know, eidetic memory where he's like, wait a minute, I'm pretty sure that I saw that same username on a completely different system. Let me go check it out. And sure enough, he found it. Wow. We followed the breadcrumbs. We tracked it down. Now, does every person on the team need every skill? No. Uh, at the end of the day, why this works is we have a team. If it was yeah. any one of us, I don't think we would have made half the progress that we've yep. made. Um, you need to be able to know how to use different tools to sort of visualize data. Um, I'm a very visual person. If I can get something in the right chart or graph, I, I'm in a much more of a position to start to see the pattern with my eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, this other guy was actually better with the words. He could just read through 10,000 emails in the space of an hour and be like, okay, yeah, there was an email with this keyword. Go search on it. Oh, yeah, that tied this to this. So, mm. you know, it's a variety of different skills. But yeah, the, the, the core of this is uh, first to understand that. And then comes the whole second aspect, specifically if you're going to go after business email compromise or other social engineering scams, having a little hint of sort of the psychology of these things, how it works. Yeah, totally. Um, you know, it, it is very helpful. Uh, we used to have a guy on my team. He's uh, long since moved on to, to do other things, but he had a degree in psychology. And um, one of the things he always talked about um, through our active defense uh, techniques is if you don't think you're going to get some sort of payout and then you get a payout, obviously you're quite happy, mm -hmm. but, and if you, if you don't think you're going to get a payout and you don't get the payout, well, you're mildly annoyed, but if you think you've got a big payout coming and then it falls through and you don't get it, 
that's like emotionally devastating. And we used yeah. a lot of those techniques against the bad guys where uh, they they think they're getting a $100,000 uh, wire on Friday. Uh, but in the meantime, not only are they not getting their $100,000 wire, they're getting their bank account, whatever was in the bank account isn't yeah. going to be there on Friday either. So, you know, wow. so there's a lot of that. So, yeah, those are, are some of the. Uh, That's uh, fascinating. So things. so you, you had someone in the house who had a psychology or psychiatry background who was able to like tweak. The, the 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 wording of like the the messages you were sending it, 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 exactly wow. um, to really uh, essentially reverse social engineer these folks amazing um, okay i love yeah. that how about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.